Angela Pulcini and I was exploring in the Indian River Lagoon with Elizabeth Hook Camp one day when we saw that there were little to no oyster reefs. We made an observation. This observation was troubling because oyster reefs were once a dominant feature in the Indian River Lagoon. During our summer internship with COSI Florida, we teamed up with the Florida Oceanographic Society and Dr. Vincent Encomio to find out what happened to the reefs and what we can do to restore them. We found out that globally oyster reefs are in decline. 85% of oyster reefs are dead or dying. With the loss of oyster reefs, there's a loss in water filtration and habitat. There are two commonly used methods in artificial oyster reef construction, oyster bags and oyster mats. Oyster bag reefs are composed of mesh bags filled with oyster shell. Oyster mat reefs are composed of mats that have oyster shell directly fixed to them. We spent our summer setting up an experiment to determine if oyster bags or mats are more beneficial. I felt because of the design of the oyster mat that it would work the best, and Elizabeth thought that the bags would work the best. We both made inferences. Making observations and inferences is how science works. When we observe something is happening, we become curious. We naturally make inferences to figure out what is going on, and then we perform tests to see what caused our initial observations. When we sampled the artificial oyster reefs that we built, we noticed there were not many organisms present. We thought this might be due to the fact that the salinity of the water was only two parts per thousand. Aha! Uh -huh, another observation and inference. We took our samples back to the lab for further testing and discovered how wrong we were. There were hundreds of microscopic organisms in all of the reef samples. From our analysis, we concluded that the mat reefs had a higher abundance of organisms, so it looks like my initial inference was supported. More often than not, when we are performing experiments to test our inferences, we end up with more questions than answers, so the process starts over. Observation and inferences are the driving force of science, so I encourage you, never stop asking why. For more information on my research and the research of other ocean scientists, please visit coastyflorida.org.